Hey guys, Richard here with the Geeks of Retro, and today we're going to go over how to live stream on multiple platforms without a capture card using OBS right now in 2018. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. And here we go. Big question I get asked a lot is how can I live stream from my Xbox One to multiple other platforms at the same time without a capture card? Well, the good news is, is that you can do this. The one big thing you're going to need is either a computer or a laptop that can actually stream and use OBS software. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon notification so that way you get notified when we release new videos. This looks like a cool place to kick it. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is go over to twitch.tv so that way we can set up the dummy account to have Restream Capture. Now, for those of you that do not know what Restream.io is, it is a wicked multi-streaming platform that allows you to stream to more than 30 plus channels at once. So if you're capturing on Twitch, you can live stream that to your normal Twitch channel, YouTube, Facebook, Ustream, beam and more simultaneously okay so now that you've got restream pulled up if you haven't signed up you're going to want to click this right here where it says sign up now once you've done that this is going to be your primary account there is no secondaries on this one here this is the account that you're going to use to stream out to all your other platforms that you have now that you're all signed up the first place it's going to bring you to is your dashboard your dashboard is going to currently be blank. You will not see anything on it like you see here. So the first thing you're going to do is click on add channel. On this page here, this is where you're going to find all the preloaded live stream platforms that Restream.io has to offer. Everything from Twitch, Beam, Ustream, YouTube, YouTube Gaming, Daily Motion, and more. Now, if there is a website or say you want to live stream to Facebook you will have to come down here where it says custom platform RTMP now it does cost money to be able to live stream to outside sources that are not preloaded into their system currently the cost is $4.99 per custom platform okay so now after you have chosen each one of the live streaming platforms that you plan to stream to as you click on each one, it should just prompt you to log in automatically. It might ask you for your username and password. Do that because then once you're done there, then it'll automatically add it on there and you don't have to do this again. All right, so the next step is selecting which server you're going to stream from or stream through, which I have chosen Miami because that's the closest one to me. So... On the new system that they have now, they actually, right above it, it actually shows a, a little blue icon that says speed test. You can click that and it will show you all their servers across the world. Pick whichever one is the closest to you because what you're looking for is the lowest ping rate. Next step here is oh, down here where you see the stream key. You're going to want to right click in that box and then copy. Is you're going to take that and paste it over into OBS. Okay. I've got my OBS up. I will make sure that the links for all the different programs are down below. But what, now that I've got my OBS up and running, you click on File, go down to Settings, and then you're going to go to Stream. This is where you're going to input your stream key, and then this here will, is where you put in your server. Here, right here where it says Service, if you click on that, it will actually give you a drop-down for where do you want to stream to, Twitch, YouTube all these here I went to restream.io because I'm trying to stream to multiple platforms alright so once you set up all of that see here where it says custom streaming server or streaming services just keep it on the streaming services set your server set your stream key click apply and then OK once you do that you are good to go now as far as the other once you've set up your stream there down here, you're going to go to scenes. You're going to hit your plus sign. You're going to create a new scene. I have multiple scenes here, so I'm not going to add another one. Now, after you set up your scene, it will allow you to capture the whole screen. Like, I have two screens, so I'm able to capture this, my primary screen that I want, that I'm going to have my 
Google set up on so that way whenever I go into twitch.tv and I log in, it's going to have my home screen page and you'll basically see like the video of what I need to capture for whenever I'm ready to live stream. All right, the next tip is here, click on your name over in the right corner and then you're gonna go down to channel. What that's gonna do is it's going to bring up your main page, it's gonna show what the video you're going to try and capture with your scene over in OBS. So what right now with my live stream not going, this is what you see currently. So whenever they first show up on my page, that's what they'll see. Okay, so once you've got your scene capture ready to go, as you can see, it's showing my full Twitch page. If you actually go down here to the bottom right here, where it says full screen, you just click that, and now you're going to get a full screen image of it. This is what you're trying to capture. So that way, while the, the game is playing, you're seeing all of it. Now, if you have any overlays, any uh, anything like that that you want to add to it, you can do that in OBS. Now, while you have your... While you're sitting in front of your Xbox, you're going to have to set up the Xbox um, and attach it to the dummy Twitch account and then live stream it out to Restream.io. Alright, so I know it seems like this is a long, drawn out process, but I promise we're almost done here, guys. Now, once you get onto your Xbox, you're going to need to go to your App Store, download Twitch if you don't already have it. Alright, now you need to make sure you have your dummy Twitch account logged into a, either your PC or or your mobile device. Now this is only gonna be a one-time deal, so you don't have to worry about this every time. Now, once you've got that opened up on your PC or mobile device, open up the Twitch app on your Xbox One. Select Login, then go on your computer or PC, or your cell phone, twitch.tv forward slash activate. Once you do this, on either your PC or your phone, enter the six digit code on your Xbox app, which links your Twitch account to your Xbox Live Gamer Tag. Again, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions and or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below and I'll address them as quickly as I humanly can. And again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a great day.